So let's say someone asks you to solve this equation. How would you do it? Right, you can use the completing the square method, but you have to admit that sometimes that can be rather complicated. So some wise guy actually came up with an algorithm derived from completing the square to give it to you so that you can use it anytime and it can be used to solve all equations of this form. So I'm going to give it to you. You should memorize this. X is equals to minus B plus minus square root B square minus 4AC divided by 2A. That's it. That's the answer. So let's see how we can make use of this answer to solve an example question. For example, you are given this problem. 16x minus 61 is equal to x squared. Now find x. So you can use it, you can solve it easily, right? So all you need to do is to write this into this form and you can plug in your algorithm and you will have the answer. So from here, you can rewrite this as x squared minus 16 x plus 61 is equals to 0. Now, immediately after you have written it like that, you can identify what is a, b, and c. a is 1, right, because the number in front of x is 1. b is minus 16. Remember that the sign always sticks to the number and c is 61. x is equals to minus minus 16 plus minus minus 16 square minus 4 1 61. Divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. So there you have it. Your answer is simply 16 plus minus. This part, if you press the calculator, you will have 12. So if you were to simplify this, we can bring out the 4. 12 is 4 times 3. If you bring the 4 out of the square root, it becomes a 2. So you're left with this, and this simplifies to 8 plus minus square root 3. So x is equal to 8 plus square root 3, and x is also equal to 8 minus square root 3.